Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the 40th Xamarin Android tutorial. So in this video, we're going to learn how to integrate our application with Google Maps, okay? So in the last few videos, we what we did was we used Google Plus to, and then we integrated that into our application using Google Play services. So since we uh, used that recently, I figured it's a good idea just to keep using Google Play services since we're, we're probably already familiar with it at this point. And just uh, start using some other rich, rich features of Google Play, which is one of them is, of course, Google Maps. Many people use it to integrate into, into their apps to add more rich features to their application. So uh, this one's going to be just setting up Google Play and the API console and just getting it ready and going, not really doing anything really great, just kind of getting it on screen and, and getting that ready because that sometimes is the most difficult part. Okay, so that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ha I have a new instance of Visual Studio, so I'm going to start a new blank project. Call it gmaps underscore tutorial. Now the first thing that I recommend doing is going into your SDK manager, which you can find up here. If you open the SDK manager, you'll be able to see all of the things that you have installed in your SDK. So Right now, I have the latest Android version, which is API 21 installed. So it, I would recommend whatever, at this current date, it's the, this is the latest API 21. So just to get the latest API available to you, that way that you can use it. But it, just a reminder, if you do need to come into here and you're getting errors downloading Google Play, this is usually the first place to look to make sure you have the latest software, okay? So that being said, I'm gonna come into my properties and I'm gonna change my to I'm going to change mine to compile with and install API 21. And then I'm going to change my target version to target. And then I'm going to, minimum, I'm going to set my minimum version to API 15. Okay. So once I do that, it's a good idea to just manually restart Visual Studio, which I'll go ahead and do right now. And once this loads, once it's ready to go, let's go ahead and come into our components over here and to the right. And we're going to right click and get more components. So if you have not already, download Google Play services, which you can just type in play and it should be the first hit that comes up in the component store. Go ahead and add the app and everything should be taken care of for you after that point. As far as just downloading Google Play and installing it, it should install any other dependencies that it needs. And sometimes depending on, on, on whatever reasons, this might take just a few seconds or it might take a few minutes. It kind of just varies. I've done this a few times and, and it just varies for some reason. Okay, come over here. So it's still downloading right here. This a little indication that it's still downloading. Okay, so a good indication that it has downloaded. It should say Google Play Services and then it's gonna have some support libraries that it included with it, okay? So once that's done installing, go ahead and go back into your properties and be sure to come into Android Options, Advanced, and this may be a little different if you're in Xamarin Studio, you should be able to go to like Android build and advanced tab there and change it to the heap size to one, one gigabyte, okay? So just make sure you do that, otherwise you may run into some problems if you don't. Now, after this is done and everything has been installed and referenced, go ahead and do a rebuild on your project, okay? I know we haven't done anything, but a lot of stuff has happened, so just make sure you do a rebuild just to make sure that all the libraries are now included and everything is referenced right. And you'll notice that sometimes it takes a little longer to rebuild now that there's a lot more going on. So there's a lot more things that that uh, need to be referenced besides like just the normal system core and XML, like these uh, Xamarin and the support library. So if it is taking a while, don't worry. After installing Google Play, that's actually pretty normal, okay? So I got it succeeded, I'm good to go. Now the next thing we want to do, now that we have the, the library, okay, what we can do is we want to come back and we want to go into our console, okay? So if we open up our favorite browser and we just type in Google API, the Google API console go into here and this will bring up the console, okay? If you don't have any projects, you'll see a different screen, but that's fine. And what we want to do, guys, is we want to create a project, okay? So this is the project that I created in the last few tutorials but we're gonna create another project, okay? So we're gonna start from scratch here as well. And we'll call it G plus, or I'm sorry, G maps tutorial, okay? 
So once that's actually put, we put a request in and Google will come down here and it'll tell us that it is creating the project for us. And depending on, on probably some factors, it might take a, just a few seconds to maybe a little longer, but Luigi doesn't take too long. So it's been created and now we're inside of our project uh, G maps. Okay. So now if we come into our API and we go into APIs, we need to turn on Google Maps for Android, okay? And this is where we do it. This is all our, our APIs that are turned on currently. So we need to come into here, guys, and we need to turn on Google Maps for Android, okay? So Google Maps Android API. So we'll come over here and we'll just hit that button. And you'll come up to the top and you'll see that it is now currently active now, okay? So it is enabled, okay? So once that's done, what we need to do now is we need to get a API key, okay? So the way we do that is we come into our credentials tab and we want to create a new key. We want to create an Android key. And here is where we will put our SHA-1 fingerprint and our package name, okay? So in the previous tutorial, um, if you look back, I have a tutorial that's dedicated just to getting this key right here, okay? So your debug.keystore, which is gonna be what you're gonna be debugging with and testing, I can I show you how to get that, okay? So go back to here, uh, here's a link right here. Go ahead and click there if you don't know how to get that. And once you do, come back over here and then use that to insert into the credential box right here, okay? So once we click that in, once we paste that in, we'll want to do a semicolon and you'll want to do your package name, okay? So how to get your package name, if you just come into properties and application or Android manifest, I'm sorry. And your package name will be right here. Okay. So package name, mine is gmaps tutorial .gmaps tutorial. And that's how it usually is by default. Now we'll want to come here and just paste it in with that. Make, don't forget that semicolon. Okay. So once we have all that, create it. It'll take a second and then once it's created, you should be able to get, it'll generate you an API key, okay? Which at that point, you'll want to copy over to your clipboard just to, because you're gonna need it here in a second, okay? And that should be all that we need to do for our API console, okay? So our, our app now should be registered to use Google Maps, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, get this thing out of the way and now the next thing we want to do guys is we want to come into our manifest. Okay. So I know that a lot of it right now is kind of like, uh, it's, it's not really a lot of coding. It's kind of a, it's kind of monotonous, but this is just how it takes to get set up. And once we get it set up, we'll, we'll get into integrating more with maps. Okay. So just a little disclaimer there. All right. So the next thing that we want to do guys is we want to come into our manifest. Okay. So let's come into our manifest and we'll need to add a few things here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy and paste it just to make things a little simpler and just not to waste your time. But this is how it's gonna look. We're gonna need a metadata and we're gonna need to specify these two, these two things, okay? And the Google Maps key is gonna be a string inside of your values. So over here, okay? Your resources values. So I'll show you how to do that in a second if you don't know how, but this is just referencing a resource, okay? Now after that, we're gonna need a few permissions, of course, to be able to use Maps and we'll go ahead and specif specify them here, which is gonna be internet, access network state, write external storage, and read services, okay? So we're gonna need a few of those. Now, make sure that if you do have any other references, don't override them or anything like that, just this is gonna be ones that you need for maps, but you may have more others as your, as your application gets more features, okay? So that should be all that's for the manifest, guys. So now that we have, have our manifest pretty much good to go, let's go ahead and close that. And let's come into our strings, okay? So our strings is going to be our resource, okay? So we'll need to make another resource because remember it's we're referencing it right over here. Okay, and we're calling it, and the key is Google Maps key, okay? So we'll do string name Google Maps key. And then we'll actually give the actual value inside of these tags. Okay, so you don't have to do it this way. You can put it straight in the manifest, of course, but this is just an easier way. And if you ever want to change it or reference in many places, you just need to change it here. Okay, 
So go ahead and put those in the in the key that it's gave give that was given to you in the API console. Go ahead and put that here. Okay. Now, now that that's done, we can go ahead and close it. Okay. So now we should be in a pretty good shape right now. Okay. We have our API console set up. We got a key from it. We put that key inside of our manifest. So we should be looking pretty good at that at this point. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete that code. That's that. That's just the button that Xamarin generates for us. And then let's come into our layout file. Okay, our main layout file. And this is where we're going to want to actually add the map. Okay. So we're going to add a fragment. Okay, and the fragment is actually going to hold the map. Okay. So let's come in here and let's add a fragment. And let's give that fragment an ID. And we'll just give it a few properties, just match parent for the width and then the height. We also want to match parent. So it's essentially going to fill the entire screen. And the last thing is pretty important. We want to specify a name. Okay. So we're going to do com.google.android dot gms dot maps dot map fragment okay so this is the class that it's going to be deriving from okay so this is important and we're just specifying the xml hey this fragment this is where it's coming from okay in the library in the google play services library okay so make sure that that's specified just like that and let's come back into our main activity okay and what we're going to do here is we're going to instantiate an instance of google map Okay, so we'll do Google map because the map is of course going to be a type Google map and it's right click resolve and then now let's import a namespace to use our Google map class. Okay, and let's do let's let's use a method. We'll make a method right now and we'll call it setup map set up map. Okay, and here we'll actually make the method set up map. And we'll do if m map equals null. So we only want to do this once if it equals null. Then we want to use our fragment manager. Okay. We want to fi find fragment by ID. Okay. And we're going to cast it as a map fragment. Remember, because of we're doing map fragment because of this, because that's what type it's going to be. Okay. And we want to get, we want to use the ID that we gave it. Okay. Which was simply just map. Okay. And then once we do that, we want to do something that we want to call a method called get map a sync. Okay. So this is the new way to do it. You asynchronously get a map. Okay. So once you do that, you got to give it a callback. Okay. So what method is going to, it calls back a method when it's done getting the map. Okay. Which is pretty fast, but it, it can't be done right away. So we have to pass it a, a interface that is going to our class that implements an interface I on map ready callback okay and it calls a method inside of it when it's done okay and we'll just pass it this because this is going to be the class that we're going to that's going to implement that interface okay so once we implement it do a right click implement interface and it's just one method that we have to implement okay and that's on my on map ready and this gets called get map a sync gets uh, calls on map ready automatically for us when the map is ready. Okay, ready to be used for any purpose that we want. And here, of course, we'll just do m map, and it passes us as a instance of Google Map through the parameter. So it says, okay, map's ready. Here's your Google Map. And then since we have a global, a global variable that is a Google Map type, we'll just instantiate it there so that we can use it in other methods as well. Okay. So throughout this whole class, we can use m map. So we instantiate it here and then that's what it, that's all it takes. Okay. So let's do a rebuild just so that error goes away. That was not recognizing that. And at this point, guys, after it rebuilds, we should be in good shape to go ahead and try to run it and make sure that it is running the way we expect it to. And if there's any errors, we'll handle them here. Okay. So, but we've, we pretty much gone through all the steps of having to download Google play services to go into the API console, configure it there, get our API key, 
change in the manifest, and then finally come into our AXML file and make a fragment that will hold our, our map, okay? So now that it rebuild, we got it succeeded, so that's always good news. So let's go ahead and run it to ensure that everything is working the way we expect it to. All right, looks good. Okay, so we have a map, guys. So this is our map, and Google authenticated our application in the API console and says that we are okay to use maps, and it went ahead and it created a map for us, which we have here, and put it inside of our fragment. Okay, so we are pretty much in good shape to good to go. Now the now that we have a map, so we, we have a good implementation, now we can start working with our map, and we can just start doing some really cool stuff, like moving the camera, doing animations where it moves, adding markers, drawing polygons. So we can start doing some really cool stuff, but this is a lot of times usually sometimes the hard part of uh, just getting it set up and getting it running. So hopefully at this point we have the hard part done and you, you are seeing what I'm seeing, okay? So if you guys are not seeing that, you guys are running some problems, feel free to leave some comments below and I will do my best to get you guys up and running and, and get Google Maps integrated in your application, okay? so. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and we'll actually start playing around with this maps, and we'll just I'll start showing you guys some cool stuff that you can do with it, and and uh, like I said, just drawing stuff on it, and kind of moving cameras, panning and zooming, and all the good stuff. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys.